Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will discuss how powerful Russia's T-90 tank is. If you are curious on this vehicle, stay tuned only at this channel. The T-90 is a Russian main combat tank, MBT, of the third generation that entered service in 1993. The tank that is manufactured by Yura Volgonzovod in Nizhny Tagil, Russia, is a modernized version of the T-72B that includes several of the T-80U's capabilities. The tank was originally known as the T-72BU and later renamed to T-90. It is an advanced tank in service with Russian ground forces and naval infantry. Currently, the Russian army has between 750 and 1,000 of these MBTs of all variants. It is the most modern tank in service with the Russian army, which requires roughly 1,500 of them. It is also Russia's only mass-produced MBT at the moment. The T-90 is also regarded as one of the top 10 main battle tanks in the world. Additionally, it is currently the world's most commercially successful main battle tank, with the export operators including Algeria 305, Azerbaijan 114, Turkmenistan 40, and Venezuela 50 to 100 units. If you want to know more detail, let's take a closer look at specifications of this tank. The T-90 MBT has a mass of 46 tons, with the operational range of 550 kilometers without fuel drums, and it has a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. This tank is operated by three crew, including commander, gunner, and driver. The original T-90 was equipped with a three-layer protection system. First, there is the welded steel T-72 shell and the composite armor found on the turret and the sides. Then, there is the Contact 5 Explosive Reactive Armor, ERA, that was first introduced on the T-80U. Finally, there is the Shatora 1 Countermeasure Suite, a collection of tools including infrared obscuring smoke grenades and 360-degree laser warning receiver to disrupt enemy targeting systems. Importantly, the Shatora 1 countermeasure system can spoof enemy anti-tank missiles, and it is what sets the T-90 apart from the T-72 and T-80. The system sends out infrared signals that jam inbound missiles. If the tank is lit up by a laser, Shatora 1 automatically sends out a warning and releases smoke grenades to mask movement. Lastly, this tank has been in service for several events, such as the War of Dagestan, Syrian Civil War, War on Donbas, and 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Interestingly, in one remarkable incident recorded in July 28, 2016, a T-90 tank near the Mala Farms of Aleppo was struck by a tow missile. But the tanks emerged apparently unscathed from the dust cloud thanks to its reactive armor. It can be said that the T-90 has been relatively successful since it has most useful features, which has actually proven to be its superior optics and fire control computer compared to earlier Russian tanks. That's all for today. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and comment for more updates on awesome videos.